welcome to the ultimate track stand tutorial. Today I would like to show you in five steps how you can get to the track stand. The track stand, in case you don't know, is this move. So you want to be able to stand on your bike without any support, even in the flat, without falling over. That's the track stand. And in this tutorial, I'm going to give you five simple steps to get to the track stand. Stay tuned. In case you're thinking, well, what do I need the track stand for? Why would I want to stand on my bike? Well, the track stand is actually one of the most important fundamental moves on your mountain bike. It's a prerequisite for most advanced moves like tight switch packs, nose pivot turns, rocking and hopping, and all sorts of fun advanced moves, but it's also a very important standalone skill which means that you can use it and you really need it in order to have control over your mountain bike in techy terrain when you can't go really fast. So I really encourage you to learn the track stand. And in this video, I'm sharing the five ultimate steps to get there. I have a free track stand challenge with 10 steps. So a little more broken down on my online platform, which is German and it's called Roxybike.online. Also, wenn du 10 Schritte möchtest, dann komm auf Roxybike Online. Dort hast du nämlich die gratis Trackstand Challenge mit 10 Schritten. Und wenn du dann einen ganzen Kurs kaufst, hast du auch persönliches Feedback von mir und meinem Kollegen Bernie inkludiert. Denn mir liegt sehr am Herzen, dass du zum Trackstand und auch zu anderen echt coolen Skills auf deinem Mountainbike kommst. Let's get going with our first step towards the track stand. The first step is ratcheting. Ratcheting is, as the name suggests, a partial stroke move of your cranks. So you might be like, well, why do I need this for the track stand? And it's actually not only a really important skill to maneuver technical terrain because you can accelerate without having the danger of clipping a pedal, but it's also actually the most important <laughs> building block in the track stand because many people think when you do the track stand you're actually standing still but here's the deal you're not you're actually moving to stand still this might sound like what let me show you if I'm performing a track stand it might look to you like I'm standing still but actually what I'm doing is I am performing micro adjustments all the time to keep my balance. So every time I'm about to lose it, like now, I can refine my balance by performing micro adjustments. And these micro adjustments, they, these I perform over my legs. So here's how ratcheting works. You can start to practice this uphill to feel the benefits of ratcheting straight away. What you're actually doing is you're only using a partial stroke motion to accelerate your bike. So not full pedal rotations, but ratcheting a little back, then accelerating by ratcheting forward and returning to a neutral position and then repeating all over again. Here you can see me using it in a technical trail situation and you see if I would use a full pedal rotation here, then the chances of clipping the pedals at the bottom stroke is really, really high. So once you have ratcheting dialed, the next step is to combine ratcheting with writing a figure eight. I already have a stay at home skill drill about this and I'm going to link it in the video right now, but I'm just going to tell you what this exercise is about. It's about writing a figure eight and accelerating only by ratcheting. Once you have the first two steps dialed, now it's time for step number three, which is looking for side support to get the hang of standing still on your mountain bike. And if you have a nice little wall like I do, then you lean your bike against this wall and you want to turn your handlebars to lean your bike against, well, to lean your front tire against the wall. Then you want to get up, so you place your feet on the pedals you turn the pedals level and then the next step is to stand up. I have my brakes on 
And now I want to find my balance here. You will realize in the beginning that it's not that easy and you're doing your adjustment moves out of the arms. So your body is nice and still and you're finding your balance here. Once you've done that, you can ratchet away. So look where you want to go, open the brakes and ratchet away. And then you ratchet towards the wall again. Again, pull your brakes here and find your balance again. You want to be able to do this to both sides and also with your front tire a little bit more perpendicular to the wall. So in different kind of versions and you really want to get familiar with doing this with your weight nice and weighted on your feet before you progress to the next step, which is step number four. For this exercise, you need a slight uphill slope. Now you want to go slower and slower and do smaller and smaller ratcheting movements until you're not really moving anymore. So you're using your micro adjustments by ratcheting and then with time, you will notice that you have started performing track stands without using the brakes, just against your uphill slope and kind of fighting or working in harmony with gravity. If you've done the other four steps and if you've worked yourself from step to step, then now you're ready for the ultimate step, which is step number five. It's important to know that the step from step three to step four and the step from step four to step five is kind of exponentially hard. So it's not really linear, but they are getting pretty much harder as you progress, which is why I've broken down this track stand challenge in 10 steps in my German online coaching platform. And I think on Ryan Leach, he's broken it down to, I think, 15 steps so there are a lot of mini steps and you have coach feedback uh, feedback all along the way because it really matters so if you're not getting from step three to step four there's no need to be frustrated because it's very normal and this is a complex skill but here is now step number five which is that you want to take what you learned on your hill to the flat and now of course since it's flat you have to start using your brakes. So what you wanna do now is get in your track stand position and ratchet a little forward, pull the brakes, ratchet back. Ratchet a little forward, pull the brakes, ratchet back. Forward, pull the brakes, ratchet back. Forward, pull the brake, ratchet back. This looks easy when performed, but it's gonna take some time. So as I said, if you want feedback, then don't hesitate to book an online coaching because you will really profit from it and just practice and you will get there. The track stand, as I said, is so important. And I think it's pretty stylish if you can just stand in your track stand in front of the ice cream parlor and eat your ice cream, right? Isn't it? I think it is, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again for my next video. And if you have questions, always free, feel free to share them below. And if you like this video, buy me a coffee. I would really appreciate it. And click subscribe, give me the thumb up. And don't forget to share it with friends so that they learn the track stand too and you can track stand all together. Goodbye.